And for those of you listening, that's like, what the heck is Periscope? What is Amanda yeah. talking about? Well, <laughs> this is what it was before you had Facebook Live. And um, mm -hmm. I mean, there was so... Y'all, tech is so much simpler in 2022 than it was. So that would have been, what what year was that? Probably 2016, 2015, maybe? Yeah, that, that was a while. That was I think it was like 2015 or something. Yeah. I mean, so just, it was so clunky. Everything was. And then your periscopes would go away. You had to figure out a way <laughs> to save them. Like there was all these other, like it was like a Frankenstein software that you had to put together just to save what you were creating. So- I, I mean, I'm just, I applaud you for doing that. And I love that you, you remember that visceral feeling when you hit live and you're like, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> like what? What went through your mind? Like right before you hit live? I was like, well, I'm just, I've, I've always been a, a take advice type of person. Um, mm -hmm. Like my mom was like 40 when she had me. So I always grew up around older people. And one thing I've learned is that they're wise. So if they tell you something, you listen. You know, I grew up in the South. Somebody tell you something, you listen. So I've always had that mentality, but I didn't think much of it. I was like, well, she's older, she acts. So I'll just listen, you know, but um, it was definitely a little scary, you know, and you feel weird, but it's, it's kind of like making love. The more you do it, the better you get. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> this is great. She could have said making cakes, but she said making love. I love that. That's this is fantastic. I was we're going in a whole nother direction. It's getting spicy in here now today. This is great. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm grateful though. It turned out amazing. Yes. Well, I look at and like it makes so much more sense now in looking at all of your journey that you didn't just wake up you know, one day in 2022 and say, I think I want to start a podcast. Like you've been at this, like you've been testing and trying different types of platforms. So what was the next thing that you added into your content toolkit? Did you start doing blogs after that? Or where did your Periscope days kind of lead you? So my Periscope days, um, it's, it's crazy because I've been doing this for years, but I honestly feel like I'm just getting started mm -hmm. because my Periscope days were amazing. But what would happen is that eventually I started sharing business tips, you know, like chef tips, stuff like that, um, that I knew about marketing. And there was this other young lady who would share marketing tips, too. And sometimes we would go on at the same time. So we used to call it scope spec, you know, because mm -hmm. as we're building followers, we knew we had the same followers. And I was like, look, we keep going on at the same time. We don't want to make people choose. So we actually decided to get together and form a partnership. Oh, that's and that was about five, about no, four and a half, four years ago. And so that was the next step. And um, I didn't even enter it thinking, you know, like I have products for bakers and stuff like that. So we formed a partnership. We formed a membership. And we started taking everything just to a higher level and um, teaching bakers. I did that for about four years. Eventually, Periscope went away. So obviously, Instagram was the next step for us. So she had an Instagram page. I had an Instagram page. I started growing that. But in 20, we're going on, this is 22, 2021, I decided to end my partnership. Mm -hmm. And so then it was like starting all over. And so I kept the platforms that I have, which is Instagram. And then I just started to go a little further. I was like, well, I want to blog and I know about SEO and the benefits of that. And I believe in repurposing. You know, I tell people all the time, like, why just make something once and then, you know, just just not do anything else with it. So when it came in terms of repurposing, I looked and I really studied my analytics Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, YouTube might not bring in the followers like Instagram does, but I said, but people do convert and it's evergreen. Mm -hmm. So I started being really intentional with just trying to repurpose stuff to YouTube, just little by little, little by little. But I always keep the aspect of have a primary platform and then have secondary places that you nurture. So as far as content in the beginning, for me, that's how it looked like. Periscope, Instagram, blog, because I wanted my own for SEO, and then YouTube. Facebook, I'm, I'm on there, but it's not necessarily something that I focus to. And once I started growing, you know, fast forward, and 
I do speaking gigs now and appearances and working with people. I said, okay, I want something that's my own. Mm -hmm. So then everyone was like, you should podcast. I was like, oh, well, that's the next step. Let's do it. (laughs) (laughs) You know, you know me, I'm just forever listening to people. So I was like, all right, cool. Let's do it. So yeah, yeah, about one week of doing that, looking into podcasting tips and stuff like that, I had ran across you on YouTube And I'm not one of those. And to anybody listening, please don't be this person because I I get it because people do it on my podcast. Please don't think that you can sit here and listen to all these podcasts and then think, oh, I don't need to buy Crystal's course because I'll just listen to the podcast. No, (laughs) in in, in life, we pay for things two ways. We pay for things with our time and with our money. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when people are new, they think, why would I buy that? Why would I invest in that? Well, number one, because of the support, like you said, Crystal, you know, because of the the community, I can ask a question. Number two, you're saving time. And so after watching about three of your videos, I was like, hell, this still don't give me all the answers. So I was like, so what's what's the next step? I said, I like this chick. You know, she's fun. She's to the point. So I was like, I'm ready to buy. Like, because I don't have time to watch all these videos. (laughs) So I went on the site and I found your program and I was like, yes, let's do it. Like that's, I need, to hurry up. So yeah, that was the next step for me. (laughs) That's so awesome. What a great testimonial. Like, thank you so much. I love, I just love hearing again, it goes back to getting into action. You know, that your time is precious. And for those of you listening that are just starting out, like, I mean, I, I did the same thing. I was like, okay, I'm like consuming, consuming, consuming. And then I hit a point where Mm -hmm. I'm just like, I don't have 17 lifetimes to watch everything that's on YouTube and listen to every single podcast. Like I just need to go. I actually just purchased as like, as we're recording this, I just bought a copywriting program because I'm like, I want to get better at copy. Like this is Mm -hmm. my, this is my next step. So I'm continuously investing in myself, investing in my business. And I love to hear that you're all like looking for opportunities to get better because you know that that is going to bring so much more value to your audience. I feel like you do such a good job. Like ever since you came into my orbit, like I love, and I will share Amanda's. Oh my gosh. What was it? It was the, it was the sweet potato cookies. Like, this is the thing (laughs) I was like, y'all, my mouth was watering. I was watching her Instagram reels. Y'all have to go follow Amanda. Oh my gosh. Because it was so good, but I want to kind of connect these dots together because this is where I would love to hear baking is such a visual thing, right? You're doing instructions, you're following recipes, you're putting ingredients and mixing them together. So how did that translate to podcasting for you? Was that ever kind of a stumbling block for you to get over saying, I've been doing Periscope, I've been doing YouTube. How is this going to work for a podcast? Not at all, because I mean, there's multiple ways that people can work it, whether it's you're sharing the stories of other bakers, um, sharing the journeys of those who operate baking businesses. And then mine is more so sharing what bakers go through as we build a business. So for me, I always, even when I was on Periscope, for me, it's always been the business portion. I I do bake, you know, I I love to bake. I love to share recipes. I share recipes on YouTube and stuff, but hence the business name, Baking for Business. (laughs) I'm all about the business aspect. So, you know, I help bakers and sugar artists in order to generate six-figure baking businesses from home. So for me, it's generally, it's just marketing. 